Hey, this Nyakum. Welcome to Obi Studios. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I released a new video, but I am back from my travels and I am back to release more content. So in this video, we're just going to do something really simple, but it's still going to be interesting. So this is a build that I did in Figma. Um, as you can see, there's Figma's. Um, and then we have like a really simple um, build design that I want to move from Figma into WordPress using breakdance. And I'm also going to do a little animation using motion page. Um, I already built this using um, a builder called Framer, which is really good. And I thought, okay, then probably I should use also um, breakdance and motion page to do it, to see how it's going to go. And so that's what we're going to do. Let's head straight into WordPress breakdance and start uh, uh, build all right so this uh this are canvas and in breakdance which is associated with wordpress um yeah so the first thing that we really want to do is to get our hand over the header we are not going to create that we already did the header so you can see that the header is over here um it's not too complicated it's just um an image we have yeah, an image and then there's a toggle and then there's a button. So nothing too interesting over there. But with the build, we are going to have like a section. So one section in here. And then we're not going to give it any um, height yet. It's going to take the height of the build itself. So a section and within a section, we want to make sure we go to the size. You can leave the size there. Let's go to um, space and right and tap. We're going to give the top a 90 like that and then the left and right we're gonna make sure that this is zero on all sides we're gonna leave the bottom let's give it also a 90. all right and here i'm gonna make sure that the width is full the reason why we have to make the width full is because of these lines that we have we want to make sure that it stretches across um, the entire canvas so that is good all right so within here our first thing that we're gonna do is to copy this text um let's add a heading so that's a header so the header we're gonna wrap the header in a div so make sure that this go here and then we have a div all right mm. the next thing that i'm gonna do is to click on that div and make sure that the container the width of um the width is 440 I'm going to click on the section, go to layout. I'm going to center everything in here. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to leave. Mm, let's make this also center like that. All right. So within the dev, we have the 1440. I'm going to click on the text. I'm going to make sure that this is H2. Go to styling and typography. I have a preset already made. I call that Dove's header. So that is good. I'm going to change the color also to this charcoal. Um, I'm going to click on the section again and then go to background. I'm going to change this one to color that I want, which is that. All right. So that is good. Um, click on the dev again, go to layer. I'm going to make sure this is to the right. All right. So now let's pick in the text that we did. So that is a text that is good. So the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to duplicate this three times. All right, so three times. Now let's go back to Figma and then copy these texts. All right, that is good. I'm gonna click on the dev, make sure that this one is also to the right like that. The last one is this word called products. Copy that, go in here. I'm gonna paste it through here. Okay, I'm gonna click on here, right? And then go to layout and make sure this is to the left. All right, that is good. Let's, let me go back to, all right. Um, this looks a bit little, but let's go back to typography. And then since we already apply this custom preset, I'm going to go back here. Let's see whether we can make like this. It's not changing. So ever which is strange i mean just gonna leave that like that i'm gonna save that the next thing that i'm going to do is to create the lines that we have so the lines i'm gonna click 
on this ad and then click on dev all right so this dev entered into that dev we don't want that we want it to be here so there is a divider right there is a divider that you can use which is this fancy divider to create the line the reason why i'm not using the divider is because when it comes to animating a divider it doesn't really work as it should be so that is why i'm not using a divider for this that's why i'm using a dev and then i'm going to apply so within the dev i'm going to go to um container make sure that this is bh you can give it like a percentage like 100 percent to it's going to work um and then the height is just going to be one pixel and then make sure that i give it a background color of this dark black the reason why you don't see the one pixel line is just because of how breakdowns renders empty devs that's why you don't see anything over here um yeah it's just because of that let's go to container and see whether if we apply yeah, it's not it's not going to change anything so that is that but in the front end you're going to see that it's working properly all right so that is that i'm just duplicating that and then placing it over here i'm just going to save it let's go back into figma and see so this is what we have and then we're going to go into the front end and see how it looks all right we can't see the dividing lines which is kind of strange save that again all right so this is the line all right i don't have a height on it so i'm giving the height of one pixel I'm going to go back here and give the height of one pixel. Let's save that again. Come in here and then fresh. All right, cool. So now we have um, our text and then our lines, which is pretty um, close to what we have in here. All right, that is good. The next thing that we're going to do is to work on the rest of this. All right, so we have this. So I'm going to put um, a dev. So click on the section and then add a dev. So the dev is going to hold what we have in here. So I'll make dev is selected. Go to container. The width is 1440, which is good. Um, and here I'm going to have two. Um, you can make this one, but I'm just going to have the uh, one dev in here, and then we're going to have just the list. So. In this, I'm going to click on probably let's just use like a normal text. So let's put like a text and then within the text, let's just copy that. It's good. And then I'm just going to paste that over here. Make this H3. Go in here and then with typography, I'm going to go to the preset and I'm going to choose, I think the. Hmm. Let's try this. Okay, I think this is this. And then let's change the color to our normal color, which is fine. All right, the next thing that we need is the, the icon that we have, this icon over here. I'm gonna click on add, and then I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna type an image, I'm gonna add an image. Within that image, I'm gonna choose and look for that icon. All right, so that is the icon. The next thing that we need to add is the list. So let's add a list. Let's do um icon list thing that we hope need. Okay, that is good. Um, so we added the icon list. I'm just gonna change the color so we can see what we're doing. Make sure color here is this, and then I don't need a background typography to color here is that. All right, so now we can see everything. Let's click back on this um dev, go to layout. So we go to layout and then we're going to make sure this is horizontal. So in the alignment, I'm going to say, make this to the left. And then with the vertical align, I'm going to say, align it to center. Now let's give this a gap of 50. All right. So as you can see, it's not um, here. We have like from here to here is like 53. And then from here to here is like 165. What I'm going to do is click back here and then just do like 50 is good. So now we need like 100 and something for this. So I'm going to click on this and then go to the advanced settings, go to advanced and then go to the wrapper, right? 
and then I'm going to look for spacing. And then on the left, I'm going to make sure we have the margin of one, one, three, which is okay. That is good. So we have this laid out. Um, now we need to add our content here. So I'm going to delete one, two, three, the two, and then I'm going to also choose this. I already uploaded the icon that I'm using, which is that. Uh, and then we just have to do with the text, right? So let's copy these paste over there uh, and just duplicate that and go in here. I'm gonna copy that and then paste over there. And the last one, I'm gonna also make sure that we have this one copied and then I'm gonna paste it over here. All right, now we need to do with the, the typography, go to preset. I already have a preset here for the list, which is good. Now we need to do with the spacing, um, layout, uh, okay, space in between. Let's do like a zero. That zero, yeah, let's do like a zero. Probably let's do like a five, which is cool. All right, so this, um, we are almost there. The next thing that we're gonna do is to add the last um, text. We can do that. Uh, let's see if we add just a normal um, rich text, right? Make sure that it's in the main section. Bring it down, right? It's centered like that. So I'm gonna click on here and then go and just copy this. Paste, all right? It's gonna mean some weird stuff. All right, that is good. So in here, I'm just gonna make sure that the, the length of this is 773. So go to size, make sure selected, go to size, and then here, 773. All right, which is good. Typography, let's make sure we give it this color that we want. And then have a preset also for that, which is the para. All right, so this is good. Um, Yeah, so I'm just going to click on this div, right? And then for the top, I'm going to give it, um, what is the space in here? I mean, like an accurate space in. Okay. Let's do 94. 94 for that. And then the bottom two, let's do like, um, looks like a 60, which is fine. All right. So we have done the, we are almost done with the design, as you can see which is not bad. All right, the next thing that we want to do is to give these things classes. Classes that we'll be able to use to do the animation later on when we go into motion page. So this is selected, I'm gonna to go to advance. Uh, and then over here, I'm gonna start adding the classes. I already created classes, you can just type in a name here. And then you can you can just click on create class if you want. So um, I'm gonna, Call this one design, so D dash design, that is good. The next one, which is this div, I'm gonna also call that div one. This one is gonna call, um, let's call this one div two. All right, and this is user. I'll probably, let's give it like a new class so that we don't have to, uh, let's delete that and let's call this one DD or DS, right? The, pref the prefer should be DS dash. So I copy that. I'm going to use that as a pre preface for everything. So DX and then let's call this one design. Let's create that. The next one is this dev. I'm going to delete the old one and then say DS dash div one. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to use it for the second one. That is good. Let me click on this div again, delete the old one that I apply, and then call this one div two. It's good. And then let's come here, go to advance. Let's add this one, remove, and then call this one user. It's good. And then come here, go to advanced settings over here. Let's put this one that. All right, I'm gonna copy the first one. And then over here, we call it DDT, which is good. All right. Um, the next one is to add classes to these. So this, I'm gonna click on that, go to advance, come on here, add that. And then I'm just give this one believe. 
which is good. And then I click on this, go to advance over here, dash, and then just give it a line. The DS dash line over here. I'm not going to give this a class because it's really not going to matter. Uh, there is, um, there's something strange when it comes to list, but so let's leave that alone and let's come to this last one and then go to advance and then we're going to call that ES. ES and then power. All right. So this is, um, probably coming to the end. Uh, I'm going to select the divs and then I'm going to give this overflow, right? Let me just copy that. So overflow is in the advanced, advanced settings. So you can type in the word overflow here and then just click on the toggle icon. I'm going to hide um, all the overflows. Okay, that is good. Click on this. Paste this over here. And then make sure that this is hidden too. Click on this. Um, go here and then click on this toggle and then hidden. Uh, I'm going to click on this one too. Mm -hmm. So we go here and then type, make sure that this is also hidden. Um, all right, that is good. Uh, I'm also going to click on the main site, click on the main and then make sure I select this section in the overflow here and then make sure that this is also hidden all right so all the overflows on these are hidden we needed is so that when we're doing the animation it will really work all right so i'm just going to refresh this nothing has changed we just give it like classes and stuff like that so nothing has really changed so i think we have come to the um the end of the the build the next thing that we're going to get into is to add a little bit of animation um yeah i'm going to show you how the animation is going to look and then after the afterwards i'm going to show you also how to build it all right let's uh so this is an old build i'm just going to refresh it so you see the animation really smooth and simple nothing too crazy we have like a little skew and everything like fades in from um down below there the devs that they are hidden inside all right so this is good what i am going to do is this uh the old one is a bit mobile responsive i'm just going to put this into mobile responsiveness for you to see i'm just going to refresh i know there's a big space here which can be fixed which is nice so it's pretty mobile responsive for the first build which is good all right so that is that now let's get into recreating this with the new build that we did which is this i'm going to close that so this um the new one that we did i'm going to go back into um dashboard and then go to like motion page so if you don't have motion page i'm going to leave a link down below that you can go to their their website and if you want to purchase one you can also purchase one um there's not an affiliate link motion page is a great tool if you want to use it for like gsap and other stuff like that and also animation so a link will be down below. Um, yeah, so let's click on motion page, get into it. All right. So if you haven't used motion page before, this might be um, a little bit of work. I'm not gonna get into like the basic stuff. I'm gonna start by creating a timeline. All right, so this timeline, I'm gonna give it a name. I'm calling DS Studio. Can't give me spot studio, man. All right, so in here, let's, find a page that we want to do with, which is DI Studio. All right, so our page is here, which is fine. Cool. We have our timeline already set. I'm gonna raise this a little bit like that. All right, that is good. All right, so what do we really want to do? What we want to do is that when the page loads, we want um, everything to like to start feeding in, which is a really simple, but it gives your website a bit of um, a nice touch rather than just a simple everything. You load and everything like comes pops up like that, which is not really fun. Uh, so we're gonna add some fun. All right, so let's find. Um, so we have like page events trigger, and we just want this one, and we want it to load um, before everything. All right, so now let's start selecting what we want to animate. Do we want to animate this, 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 everything here? Let's start with the top, which is this. So let's. 
this is the class that we gave i'm going to select that class the next one is this i'm going to also select the class the next one is this so select that class all right that is pretty good um so what do you want to do we want this one to go all the way to the bottom first before i even do that i'm going to skew this to like 20 degrees see so 20 degrees skew uh, the next thing is to push it down so let's give it a hundred percent down all right so when we play this you're gonna see it comes in like that go back i don't see like that which is pretty cool um we are not done yet what we also want to add is a little bit of fade so we're going to give opacity of zero so we're going to start from zero and when we play it it comes in so so like that which is nice now what we want to do is as you can see this one both like all three comes out at the same time we don't want that to happen we want it to fade in step by step like one after the other to do that we're going to go to what the um this thing called stack so this is used in gsap so now we are getting into gsap stuff so what we want to do is to make sure this is um take this one all the way up to two seconds each that's what i want to do so i'm going to play it beautiful like that really nice um what we want to do you can see that this is a bit like too rough let's change the ease on this to like power one go back again all right, let's stretch this a little bit, like one point something seconds. Go back again. All right, maybe not, maybe point, point two. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We can like go through this and see like what else we can achieve. This is not good. Let's see um, rough, right? Not bad. Uh, let's see slow. Okay, slow is nice. We're going to choose slow. All right, so that is um, the first thing that we did. The next thing that we want to do is to work on the line. So these lines, we're also going to work on that. So I'm going to create something called a node. So when I click on this, a new node is created. And then I'm going to make this as long as the, the first one, but maybe not as long as that. All right, so in here, I want to select the lines. That is really difficult to select. All right, I got it. That's one. The, the next one also won this. I got it. That's two. All right. So two, what we want them to do is we want them to scale um, when this one is coming. So when this one comes in, we want them to also scale in like that, move from the left to the right. So to do that, I'm going to click on scale and I'm going to click toggle this. If I don't toggle this, I'm going to scale like all of them together, which I don't want. I don't want to scale the X and the Y at the same time. I just want to scale the X axis of this. All right. So what I want to do is to make sure that they scale from zero to one. All right. So this is another way of doing it. Consider that it's scaling from the middle. We don't want that. We want it to scale from the left. To make sure that this scales from the left, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to transform origin. Over here, you can tell the transform where it should scale from. So the reason why I didn't use the fancy lines that I talked about is because with the fancy lines, when you try changing the transform origin, it doesn't really work. So that is why I didn't use that. That is why I'm going to use, I'm just using a div and then I'm putting in like the colors and other stuff like that. So I'm going to push this to the left because I want to transform from the left to the right. So let's go back again and I'm going to play it. All right, that is pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Let's go back and then click on that. See, this is it's coming really fast. We're gonna go to ease and do slow. Probably we might have to push this a little bit. And it's coming way too fast. All right, um, the next thing we're gonna do is to make sure that we do the stagger. Let's do a stagger of like the same two, right? Go back and then click on that. All right, that is cool. Maybe let's do like a three. Go back again. All right, that is probably a four. The reason why I'm doing a four, go back. All right, that is nice. So now we have our first like two animation 
done. Which is really nice. We don't have one for here. If we want, we can add one, but I don't think it's as necessary to do that. Um, all right, so we are done with um, the first two parts. The next one is to animate this and, and then also animate that and then this last one. So what we are going to do is the same thing. We're going to add a new node. And this one, what we want to really do is to push this all the way around here because we want this to play. And as this is ending, we want this one to start also the animation. So I'm going to click on here to select the class name. So here is the name that we gave it, which is nice. All right. So what we want it to do is to move from the left to the right. So I'm going to give this one 100%. And then make sure that it's in the negative section. Mm. All right, so 110%. All right, so we're also gonna add a little this of that. And then let's give it a little skew, probably like um, 5%, right? And then we are going to play it. Mm. So this coming in really fast. All right, that's good. Um, what we want to do is to change this one to slow like that. Now let's play this again. All right, so the skew, I don't think the skew is working. Let's go to 20. All right, let's play that again. All right, so what I'm going to do is to select the next one, which is this, right? You can see. This one is not selected. You can't see the class. I'm just gonna type in the class name. Dash and I know it's line. All right, so now both of them are going to come in like that, but we want it to come one after the other. So I'm gonna use the stagger again. And then I'm just gonna give this one like, um, let's do like a three. Let's play that. All right, that is good. All right, so we are done with that. The next thing that I want to do is to create a next one for this. So this one ends right here. We want this to start from here. All right, so over here, we want to animate this for it to come up. So I'm going to do it is to select the class for the first one. So all of these three. So if you remember, I said I wouldn't give this one a class because even if you give it a class, it's not going to perform the animation that we want. What we want to do is to make sure that this one comes up this one comes up this one comes after that just like how we're doing everything over here but when we use a normal class we are not able to target um the list we're not able to target like the list itself we're able to target just the whole um wrapper around it which is not what we want but this list has a class name called that which is what we want to do to animate so we have selected the class name for each list. It has one class name, which is this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say it comes from zero. We want to transform to be 100%. And then we want a little skew on this to like a 20 degrees. And we also want a stagger on this to be like a two. Yep, and just gonna do this on a slow. All right, so we're gonna play it and see how it looks. Perfect. So let's go back and let's play everything again. Nicely. All right, so the last one um, is this one that we have here. So I'm gonna create one more node. What we can do is we can even add it to this. Can see you can't even see the class name so i'm just going to type in that dash para let's see how this also comes in let's go back mate animate mm, not bad but you don't really it's coming in too fast i'm going to give this one like a three or a four All right, let's go back and then do the animation again. All right, I think that's good. All right, so pretty simple, nothing too crazy.
But as you can see, it gives, it brings a bit of light to your website rather than just loading and having everything like in your face like that. With this, you're able to give your animation, your design, a bit of life. All right, let's go to the front end. As you can see, this is a bit too slow. So let's change this one back to the two. I think two is fine. I'm just gonna refresh this. All right, so we have been able to take this Figma design. So that's the Figma design and use WordPress breakdance and motion page to build it. And we are also been able to do the animation as usually by using motion page for this. Um, I like that uh, it's not too complicated. It's really simple, but as I said, it gives your, um, your build um, a little bit of life rather than just those simple, everything loads on your website and there is no kind of like life in it. Um, so if you like what um, you watched and you would like to support the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you also haven't used Breakdance before, I'm going to leave an affiliate link down below that you can click on to use my affiliate link to also purchase. It's going to go a long way to help the channel. And if you haven't used Motion Page, I'm going to leave a link below to, to Motion Page's website that you can purchase Motion Page. Motion Page has um, the interface is really nice. The reason why I don't use any other um, animation to other than that is because the interface is nice. Uh, it really works well and it has also GSAP integrated into it. Um, thank you for watching. As always, my name is Nyako. This is OB Studios. I'm going to catch you on the next one.